Welcome again back to everyday prepping or in Swedish vardagsprepping. So today uh, is the 14th of December. Um, in Sweden and in Stockholm there has been, um, we've uh, finally got snow and um, cold weather. So right now it's uh, somewhere around minus 5 to minus 7 um, degrees Celsius outside. And with that, um, since we are in a, in a kind of a crisis when it comes to electricity and heating, I want to do an experiment again. I think maybe you've seen uh, me try this out in Swedish. Uh, maybe I'll do one more for you guys in English, but this is a, a gas heater. I tried that a couple of years ago, but uh, this time I'm going to go with a bigger one. So my uh, this flat is around 33 or around 30 square meters. So it's kind of small. So what I'm going to do right now is I am um, shutting down the, the heat and then I will take note of the how the warmth, uh, the temperature in the apartment now when it's one o'clock in the afternoon, so just after lunch. And then I'm just going to see what happens. How cold does this apartment get without any uh, heat? So this is not a good, uh, it's not a um, very good scientific experiment because I have one neighbor in that wall and one neighbor in this wall and they they won't be shutting off their heat. So um, and as you know um, if you have an apartment a neighbor neighboring apartment the heat from that apartment uh, kind of benefits you and also if you have neighbors under you. Uh, I don't have any neighbors under me so it's a cold cellar there. And then I have one wall with four windows, so that will be the, uh, the most source of cold in my, this apartment. So I'm going to shut up off the, the heat uh, and then tomorrow at uh, one o'clock I will be uh, measuring how much um, loss of uh, warmth I have in, have in the apartment. And after that I'm going to open the windows so it gets really cold and instead of that small little gas heater I'm going to use this. So this is for liquid fuel, I think it's called... I don't know. Uh, it will use the same fuel as you have in your lamps. So ker kerosene, yeah, kerosene heater. So this is a kerosene heater from the Japanese company Sunwind. It's called Corona. So now we have three Coronas. We have the virus, we have the beer and we have the heater. Hmm. I think I like this the most. <laughs> so let's get to the good parts. I'm going to shut off the heat. Yay! And as you see, I have a t-shirt on me. I guess I won't be having that on me tomorrow. So here I think, yes, here is a one heater at zero. And this is another one that's on. It's really warm, but not for long. And here is another one, also very warm. Not for long. So, zero. So you got a, uh, a small tour of the messy apartment. I need to clean it up. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow. And let's see how cold it is. Just a minute. And right now the thermometer says somewhere around, I think, 22, 23 degrees inside. Which is... 70 Fahrenheit. Good morning. Um, it's now uh, half past 10, the day after I shut the heat off in the apartment. 
I, I turn it off at one o'clock and um, now we are down to uh, I think 10 or to, uh, 10 or 11 degrees inside which means around 50 degrees Fahrenheit um, I actually went for a morning walk today uh, for like half an hour in minus 10 which was uh, really nice um, I like if if there's supposed to be a winter I like it when it's uh, minus 10 or colder um, I don't like the mushy rain winter anyhow when I got home I I was a bit uh, surprised because I didn't believe that um, the heat or the, the temperature had gone so far uh, so I actually yeah, it was 20 degrees difference from outside, so I guess it it felt nice. But then after working for a couple of hours and handling a couple of meetings, it's really cold. <laughs> I mean, 10 degrees is good if you if you want to sleep, but then you're under your warm blanket and stuff like that. Uh, sitting down still and working doesn't really float my boat anyways. So I've uh, put on my jacket, I have a, a thick sweater and t-shirt. I would like uh, some un uh, long underwear as well, but I don't, I didn't bring it. Uh, I'm also using slippers and extra socks. But my hands are cold and since I'm an IT guy, I need to use my hands. So maybe I have to check for gloves, but anyhow, uh, 10 degrees. Uh, I'm going to have lunch in one and a half hour uh, at home and then I will be opening the windows because I want the temperature to come down to like five degrees before I start heating the apartment up again. Just a quick check-in. See you quite soon. Bye bye. Oh, I'm so stupid. It's getting frosty and um, I'm very happy that I actually read the instructions. Turns out I need a couple of batteries for this to work. So um, I need to fix that. And with the windows open, I'm at six degrees right now frosty okay so now I hope there it's enough with two batteries and that I yes bought the correct ones I'm not used to handling such big batteries <laughs> but they're all set and I think this is this is for the ignition ignition And we need to remove this as well. So this is the wick and I no now I need to somehow put this into place, I have no idea how. And then we need to fill this with the uh, Kerosene, not gasoline, no gasoline.
And this is kerosene for um, heaters like this. I'm not going to fill it all the way because this is just a test and then you need to clean this so that there is no kerosene outside like that and then we Insert, and then we have to wait for one and a half hour or one hour for the contents of the for the kerosene to reach the wick. You can hear it's filling up. I hope. Okay, so I had to watch some videos on YouTube to make this right. So you're supposed to do like this. That and back for this to apparently adjust to the wick. And also I noted something. I was looking here at the fuel sign, but apparently Yeah, you can also see the amount of fuel here. I haven't filled it up so much yet, so Okay, let's see if we can uh, wake this up. So I need to adjust this to go to the igniting position and then... I hope I did everything right. Okay, I'll let it burn and we'll see what happens. Hello, welcome back. So I actually had to cancel my test because uh, Ordinary Life was calling. So I aborted the mission and I shut the heater off, uh, but to, to challenge myself further, I actually um, uh, opened the ventilation quite much in the apartment and let it be for two days. So when I got here this morning, it was five degrees inside, uh, so quite chill. Um, this has been on for one and a half hour. It's it's really silent. You can't hear it any. You can't hear it at all. Uh, well, during the startup phase, it, it makes some sound, but not um, not now. And the temperature is actually at eleven degrees. So uh, six degrees in one and a half hour. But the the air feels warmer. I think it's because this will like eat up all the moist all the wet air i don't know if you know what i mean <sighs> okay but this actually concludes my little experiment uh, i really like this it's the corona turbo rx 
2485. And, and people would probably suggest that I wouldn't be using this inside, but as long as I have uh, good ventilation, it's no worries. Uh, uh, but also, uh, you should always have your eyes on this, so never leave home with it on. And um, but it's um, it gives me warmth. So if you like this video, please uh, subscribe to the channel and like the press the like, the thumbs button up, and um, uh, please comment if you have any questions. I know there will be questions around the, how much uh, fuel it consumes. I have no idea. I put one liter in it. And it's been on for, as I said, uh, a total of two hours right now. Um, so, yeah. And it's really warm and cozy here now. Take care. See you later. Prep on. Stay safe.